So just a couple last comments. Were there any other questions for the panelists? Or we'll move on to the end game here. So I think we're just about right on time. Um, so before we go, I just uh, I couldn't stop myself. A little advertisement for our program uh, here. Uh, just this spring, so it's, it's fresh in our mind, we've launched uh, what we call the Kidney Cancer Multispecialty Clinic on our campus. Um, so for newly diagnosed uh, patients with kidney cancer is really the focus. Um, but in a single afternoon session, um, you would come in and you'd meet with a medical oncologist, uh, so primarily myself, a urologist, which would be some of the faculty you've met here today, John Gore, uh, George Shade, and a radiation oncologist and Dr. Jing Zhang that was here this morning is also staffs this clinic. So three different specialists to give you a comprehensive multi-modality uh, approach to what's going to be the game plan for managing a new cancer diagnosis. And uh, we also sit and have a, a conference um, with a pathologist that reviews any, if there's biopsy or if there was an outside surgery, and our radiologist that review the scans. And so you have uh, expertise from five different medical specialists brought to bear in, in one afternoon. Uh, and then also just the scheduling um, assistance of a nurse navigator. So if we all get together and we say you need to have this spot in this bone irradiated, then you're going to go and have the surgeons do a nephrectomy, and then you're going to come back and we'll talk about uh, our, our systemic therapy approaches that all those appointments get scheduled and you get help navigating different parts of our campus and getting it all uh, planned out. And so I think it's going to be uh, you know, great for patients, particularly that need to see multiple different specialists. Get that done quickly, have a game plan on the table, and help uh, to have some support to make sure you know where you're going and who you're seeing, uh, sort of a quarterback to guide you through the, through the whole process. I think it's challenging when you're on your own and you have to see different specialists uh, even worse when you're straddling different care networks and seeing doctors that um, don't really closely work with each other or have a shared uh, medical record. So that's new on our campus. Um, we're very excited about. Uh, and so, you know, I, I, the people here, I hope many of you have certainly worked with us and are familiar with our program. Um, but I think we do have kidney cancer assets that run in our program that are uh, unique in Seattle and in the Northwest. Um, this program today, we uh, anticipate being an annual event. This is our third uh, go-round, and we certainly expect to do it next year uh, and keep it going. Um, our multi-specialty clinic uh, leverages the fact that we do have specialists in different areas that um, have great expertise specifically for kidney cancer. Um, so our clinic launch uh, is a unique product. You can't uh, easily do the same thing uh, elsewhere in Seattle. Uh, we have treatment modalities on our campus that are um, specific to our campus. You can't easily do elsewhere, at least not in the Seattle area. We are a referral site for interleukin-2, which is a uh, cumbersome therapy, needs some expertise to administer. Uh, other Seattle campuses don't uh, typically offer that. Uh, we have a clinical trials portfolio, many studies of which would be unique to our campus. Uh, we occasionally overlap with, um, with other centers, but uh, most of what we're doing you couldn't easily do elsewhere. Uh, we'll have studies opening in 2017 that are studies that uh, we've designed ourselves and so we'll be the only place not only in Seattle but the only place uh, in the country where you'll be able to do um, certain styles of therapy. And uh, laboratory research, a little bit of that you saw today with Dr. George Shade talking about um, the, the histotripsy technique he's working to develop. Uh, there are other research laboratories on campus doing things that are kidney cancer specific. Uh, we can't uh, be comprehensive and go over every, uh, every avenue in today's format, but um, there's more going on uh, in other places. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the program. I think it's a great opportunity um, to help you network. Uh, if you want to give us feedback on what you think would be exciting or ways that this sort of program could be uh, changed or improved or things you'd like us to know, uh, my uh, phone and email contact is on the screen. Um, it's a chance, if you aren't familiar with the local Seattle uh, Kidney Cancer Association chapter, um, with Art and Julie here to get on the mailing list, the emailing list, and get regular uh, updates if you're interested to participate uh, and go to meetings. Uh, and an opportunity to um, hook up with our campus. 
Uh, I have had patients that uh, were excited about research opportunities on our campus. Um, our development offices, both through the university and through the Fred Hutch, uh, are, are ambassadors. If you're interested to look under the hood and see what's going on, um, meet uh, lab investigators, uh, take a tour of the campus. Um, we can put you in touch with folks that would be happy to meet with you, show you around and let you see what's going on. I have had my own patients that have actually um, uh, donated money that has gone directly to kidney cancer research and I have my hand in a collaboration with a research lab looking at T cell uh, reactivity hoping that that eventually would come forward as a T cell therapy uh, clinical study and that is funded entirely by uh, a, a donation given by one of my patients at this point in time to truly be a therapy it's going to take um, money probably coming from a pharmaceutical sponsor but uh, the preliminary work that we'd have to show is all based on, uh, on um, foundation giving. So um, there are opportunities to learn more and, and participate on campus for uh, people that are interested. So that all information is captured here. And that is uh, all I wanted to say for today's program. Uh, thank you. Um, I think Carrie may be gone. OK. Uh, but KCA that sponsors this program and lets this uh, go forward. So uh, certainly thankful to Carrie uh, and help uh, not on site, but Amanda Schur uh, that also helped to facilitate things. Oh, you're still here. So thank you to KCA for um, sponsoring the program today. Uh, my colleagues that were speakers today, um, I think most have, have had to move on. Uh, our local chapter for KCA participating uh, and helping to put on today's program. And uh, Samantha that was here this morning, she's left. But my administrative help, uh, Samantha Lepidy, that really was the engine that put this whole um, program together and did a fantastic amount of work, was physically here this morning getting everything set up and arranged. Uh, and Maura Doe that did the mailing, times two with the wrong uh, <laughs> date, the first go round. Um, but I think that was a great uh, help this go round to get the word out. Uh, and hopefully most people uh, were in some fashion, either in clinic or by mailings or on our webpage, uh, were able to find out that this was happening. So I thank you, uh, our patients that work with us, patients from other networks, uh, families, caregivers. I hope you've had a good uh, session today. And uh, mark it down for 2018, uh, late June, early July. We expect to come back around and have another program. So thank you very much. Thank you.